everyone, and welcome back to the hunting the best legendary sapphire Phaedric. And today I'm going to give you guys an update on the whole capturing situation, and we're going to be capturing three Phaedrics live and seeing what we get here today. So stay tuned for any of that information and a jam packed episode. Hello, smash a like, comment, and subscribe for more daily Call of Dragons content with me, Mr. Sneaking Official, Call of Dragons content creator. And like I say, we are going to be going over the pets today. We're going to be capturing some more Phaedrics since we've got two in our little hubby here. And at the moment, as you guys should know, if you've not watched my patch video, there is going to be a new patch coming. And in that new patch, it says that after so many attempts, we don't know how many yet until it comes, you are going to be guaranteed a legendary or epic style pet, which is really good because it means what you could do, and what I'm going to be doing with it, is using it to basically roll on that, this venomous lizard and hopefully hit something. And if I don't and I get to that pity meter of, you know, maybe if it were 20, then on the 20th one, I'll always hit the Sapphire Phaedric, trying to get a better epic or legendary role. So it's going to be actually a really good way of keeping consistency in our account. So we've still got our one star and pain bloom, and we've still got our one star and, you know, force for pain bloom. We've got the exact same stats here as before. And all we're trying to do today is capture some more pets. Because as you know, with that new update, like I said, you don't want to be spending any of them. So all I've been doing, and as you can see, we've already got 17 farmed. Just before the update, we was obviously using the regeneration pots. But when that patch came up, I've already got 17 regeneration pots ready. And tomorrow will be technically Monday for my account when, obviously, we have done this recording. And... I'll be able to buy that extra 20 regeneration pots. So I'm gonna already have 37 pots stacked up and obviously more potentially in the future. So we've got one pet here that we're gonna capture now. Oh, always hit the capture. This is the one mistake I always do, which is a, a, a bad one, I must say, but you need to make sure you hit the capture icon, obviously. These units are all together, so we're just waiting for these two just to get around this corner, and that's where the next two Phaedrics are actually located. So we're just using our fear right now to capture it. We could make this a little bit quicker, which we might do, just because our march here is a little bit weak, because this is what we were using just to level up. So we emptied our CP. And then we've gone on the capturing spree. And as you notice, as we're just waiting for those to capture, we have been pushing, obviously, the policies, right? So then the policies, as you notice, I'm on two out of three on my administrator. And you can see here the requirements. So I'm going to give you guys all the heads up. When you get a new season, you're going to have to get this to level 10. Once you get this to level 10, you'll unlock the first ever cost. And that's around, I think, 250,000 merits. Then you need to get this to level 15. Once you get this to level 15, you can then get this to level 2 out of 3. This will cost you 500,000 merits. And now, as you can see, I need to get level 20 on this military expansion 3. And that will mean 1 million merits on top. But then I'll be able to catch 5 pets every single day. So that's just a quick heads up for all you guys who are watching the video. But we have just captured our first Phaedrix. So let's have a look. It was a blue level 1. But it's got no skills. So for me, I'm not, like I say, we're not going to be saving anything like this. So all we're going to do is hit that release button straight away. And there we go. We're farming those regeneration pots. And that's all we've got to keep doing. So what we're going to do while we're waiting for the other marchers to get to position, we do have times 100 on the um, affection. So we can do a 10, 10 times draw. Hopefully this is going to be the first time we get a three star talent. Because we've not got one yet from doing this and we've done now over 30 plus draws so let's see what we get now so we've got two talents which is cool but they're just common talents so we've got two guardian oaths which is nice i guess but we're probably going to sell these um, but we've got a nice amount of food for our pets which is actually really good and then we've got some resources which is a bit of a bummer but you know we can't we can't all be um 
you know, perfect and get, you know, the best draws. So let's go and get these next pets. So we've got this one. We do it, did it again. We did it again. We need to hit capture. And then we have Syndrome here. So let's capture this next pet. And it's easy, just like that, you know. Now we're capturing two pets on the fly. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get maybe a one or two star pain bloom. You know, we've not got one yet. Maybe if it's a one star or two star forceful pain bloom, I might even be able to, if I'm lucky enough, you know, release that pet, get the skill. And if I get the skill, I can then put it on one of my other pets. And it should, in theory, go on the older slot so whatever the common forceful pain bloom is my two star one when i get it should in theory go on that slot it shouldn't go anywhere else so we will get to see that hopefully in the future when we get into that situation so let's go into the pet sanctuary again we've got one of them here and this one is a really cool looking pet again we've got two new ability swift revenge and determined heart but these are again two abilities we don't really care about so we are gonna get rid of them so now we're at almost i think we might actually be if i go out and check we're at max we're at maximum 16 out of 16 slots here you know we can't upgrade this any further i've tried it just won't work so let's see what we can get rid of because we've got two guardian oaths which we're probably gonna sell so let's let's sell um those because these are in my eyes not what worth you know keeping um we like the shield effects we'll keep that this is crit rate and crit damage we're going to keep that we've got determined heart which is a warp at shield effect so this is determined by endurance instead of intelligence so i'm actually going to get rid of this one too um maybe later on it might be better but for now, I don't need it, you know. I'm going to work on what I'm working on, which is either my Golden Rocks or the Phaedric. So I'm keeping certain other ones just in case they're really good. But you can see we've already got 400 of the current set. So we are getting it nice and easy. Let's just go and help our Wild Deer kill this Phaedric because this, this Wild Deer Halloween can kill it, as you can see. But it's a little bit too slow. For our liking so we'll just get our archers just to walk over and quickly hit it a couple of times just to speed things up right so there we go and hopefully this one might have a pain bloom and this is just showcasing you guys look we are catching a lot of phaedrics and you're having to do quite a lot to try and get those one and two star pain blooms to drop because those are the skills that you need because if you get a base pain bloom at a really high skill then you can inherit it and make something worth your while so there we go we didn't get it again so we got hit weakness this time it's critical damage whenever we deal physical normal attack damage actually a really good one for archer players or even potentially your uh, physical base matches like cavalry or infantry if you're going for more of a angry you know aggressive march so there we go we got another regeneration pot so just already we got another two today we're not going to regenerate any more pets because like i said we're waiting until the 21st remember and when the 21st drops we're gonna have access to the new regeneration systems so just wait and hold on to all of your regeneration pots until then so that is going to be it that's going to be today's episode nice fun one unlucky you know and i hope you guys can see you know everyone has to do the same daily grind especially if you're trying to work towards specific pets to make these guys you know even stronger than they already are right so i hope you've enjoyed it smash the like comment and subscribe for more daily call of dragons content videos my name is mr sneaker and here we are doing the hunt for almost the best perfect legendary phaedric that you can try and go for as a starter and then hopefully upgrade it over time so with all that said, stay safe, stay sneaky, and peace out until the next video.